The show begins as we see some goons beating up a boy, called Jin. He has been bullied for some time now. But at this very moment Jin couldn't take it anymore and uses everything he has to fight back. He beats every one of them and as he is about to finish them off, his mother appears and stops him. His mother immediately takes him home and started to train him, in case he faces such kind of situation again. Later that evening one of the bully's father appeared in Jin's house outranged because of what Jim did to his son. Shockingly, his mom tells him to apologize to the man, even though it was actually the man's son that started the fight. Jin wanted to obey his mom and apologize, but the man kept on being a jerk, as he really wanted to teach him a lesson for assaulting his son. As he is about to attack, Jin mother suddenly steps in, and punches the man to unconsciousness, commanding the boy to take his father home. Few moments later, when Jin and his mom were having a conversation, a demon appeared in front of their house, Upon seeing the demon, Jin mother made him promise not to leave the house no matter what happens to her, and she manages to be harmed, he should escape to his grandfather's place. Immediately, Jin mother leaves the house and goes on a one-on-one -on -one combat with the demon. No matter how she tried, she was no match for this demon. As the demon defeats and was about to kill her, Jin couldn't do as she instructed, and goes out to help his mother, but his blows wasn't effective to the demon. As the demon turns around to hurt Jin, she decided to lure the demon to a gas cylinder inside their house. And as soon as she lures the demon close enough, she opens the gas cylinder which causes the whole place to explode, killing Jin's mother in the process. Jin decided to fulfill his promise to his mother, and traveled to the city to look for his grandfather. Jin successfully found his grandfather who is known as Hayachi Mishima, who was not even happy to see him. Instead, he tells Jin to fight him. Jin is hesitant at first, but when Hayashi Mishima started attacking him, the young teenager has no choice but to fight back and defend himself. Jin gets easily defeated by Hayashi Mishima, who tells him to leave because he's weak. Jin refuses, as he must learn how to fight, so he can defeat the green demon that murdered his mother. When his grandfather hears this, he knows it's no other person than a creature called the Orge. Suddenly he decided to train him, but first, he must prove himself worthy, even if it kills him. Immediately, Hayachi Mishima started to train Jin in a very brutal way, in order to get him prepared to fight the orge that killed his mother. The training is all about Jin using only his hands to fight, while Hayachi must use his whole body in the fight. After their training that day a merchant visited them to sell a very valuable item to them, called the Chang's Pendant. Immediately the man gives the price for the item, Hayachi discovers that the man is trying to cheat them, and tells Jin to teach the seller a lesson. The man is all ready with a knife when Jin started to fight him. After a long fight, Jin defeated the seller and by the orders of Hayachi, he finishes the man off with a few punches. Hayachi notices Jin's hesitation in the fight, and tells him that hesitation is a weakness, and that was exactly the reason why his mother died, and if he continues like that, he will also lose his own life. Hayachi meets with his assistant, and tells her to give the pendant to a scientist, so they can examine the pendant, as he believes the pendant detects demons like the orge, and wants to find out from a scientist if it really works. His assistant also reported to him concerning how their fighters have been going missing recently. Jin suddenly becomes curious to know about the missing fighters, wondering if they suffered the same fate like his mother. But Hayachi tells him that what he should be focused on is his trainings, and decided to continue Jin trainings on how to fight. This time Hayachi became more brutal and violent, and tells Jin that only when he is defeated, only then will he end the training. After four years of intensive trainings, Jin is all grown up, and he has become more skillful and stronger, but still has a lot to learn. Hayachi is planning on opening the King of Iron Fist tournament, so he can use it to lure the Orge out, so Jin can fight with it as a challenger, to have his revenge. Hayachi ended the training, but Jin suddenly turns around to fight him, as that's what he would have wanted. But still, Hayachi defeated him, and kept on calling Jin weak and pathetic. The angry Jin suddenly summons a strong courage inside of him, and as he runs towards Hayachi in speed, he unleashes a kind of lightning technique, when made him to land a blow on Hayachi for the very first time, which shocks the group. He respected his master as usual after the training, and goes away. According to his master instructions, he goes on a journey to Puru, where they hold the Iron Fist tournament. Immediately he reaches Peru, he is accompanied by Hayachi assistant, who advises him not to ever reveal his identity as a Mishima, because there are lots of fighters out there, who can do anything to kill someone from the Mishima family. A fighter called Huarong shows up, and we see an immediate tension between them, as it is revealed that they were both enemies in the past. The other fighters also arrived, but they all needed to save all their energy for the tournament. On their way to the Iron Fist tournament, Jin started to make researches, 
and read old articles to know what he can find out. Huarong notices his curiosity, and whispers to Jin that rumors have been going all around the town, concerning how Heihachi murdered Kazuya Mishima in the Iron Fist tournament back then. Kazuya Mishima is Jin's father. A fighter who was listening to what they were saying, tells Jin that Kazuya was a very bad person, and really deserved to die. After a few hours, the fighter successfully arrived at the Iron Fist arena. Jin goes to talk to his grandfather, Heihachi Mishima, who really believes that the ogre will not be able to resist the tournament. But Jin ensures his grandfather that he is going to win at all cost. Suddenly, Jin brings up the topic concerning what happened to his father, Kazuya Mishima, in the Iron Fist tournament back then. But Heihachi Mishima tells him to forget about the past, and focus on the tournament. The event finally started, and Heihachi who is the host of the tournament welcomes the warriors, and throws a party on their behalf. Jin goes to talk secretly with one of the fighters called Nina Williams, because he wants to know if she witnessed the fight between Kazuya and Heihachi. Nina advises him that family has a lot of dark past, and tells him never to get mixed with that kind of family. Not knowing it's actually Jin's family. Another fighter called Phoenix was listening to what they were saying, and began to suspect why Jin is so curious to know about the Mishima family. Phoenix gets Jin attention by telling him about his father Kazuya, whom he describes as a mean bastard. As Phoenix begins to tell him the story, a flashback is shown, when we saw Heihachi and Kazuya fighting. We saw how diabolical Kazuya is, as he throws Heihachi off the cliff. This act should have killed Heihachi, but he manages to put himself together, and fought with Kazuya again. Phoenix expresses that he wouldn't be really shocked if Heihachi murdered Kazuya, his son. Jin later meets Heihachi Mishima, and questions him if he really murdered his father. Heihachi notices how curious Jin is to know the truth, admitted that he really killed his father, and also reveals his own side of the story, on how heartless his father is. He explains that his father, Kazuya, took possession of a Devi gene, which gives Kazuya unlimited strength and powers, but it influenced his mind, making him evil. Jin then suddenly realizes why his mother never told him anything about his father. Next episode begins as we see a fighter called Ling Xiaoyu, who is disturbing Jin, as he tries to meditate. She informs him that his fight is next, so he really needs to get himself prepared. He will be fighting a very powerful warrior known as Leroy Smith. Few minutes later, the fight everyone has been waiting for finally started. Jin Kazama, vs. Leroy Smith. As the fight begins, we find out that Leroy Smith is an excellent fighter, as Jin was really struggling to defend his blows, but as he keeps remembering his mom, it inspired him to keep fighting. For the first time, Jin manages to knock down Leroy to the ground, and after few more beatings, Jin says to him that the fight is over, but the angry Leroy refuses to give up in the fight, which gives Jin no choice but to break his leg, defeating the poor fighter. Jin is later declared as the winner, but despite his victory, he still felt bothered about Leroy, who didn't want to give up in the fight. He tells Hwarong that Leroy was fighting like his whole life depends on it. The next opponents to fight is Ling Xiaoyu versus Nina Williams. Jin advises Ling to be careful, because Nina is a hired killer, but Ling didn't care, as she is confident about the fight. Jin goes to Heihachi and begs him not to allow Ling to fight, because she's just a teenager. But Heihachi replies saying that, the comparison between him and Ling is that she has a plan, rather than feeling sorry for herself. The fight begins between Ling Xiaoyu and Nina Willian, it was a very tough fight between the opponents, but with strategy, Ling Xiaoyu defeated Nina with a knockout. Jin who felt guilty on his fight with Leroy Smith, decided to pay him a visit to know how he's doing. Leroy calls Jin one of Heihachi's dogs, but Jin tells him that he isn't one of Heihachi's men, that he has a personal reason of fighting in the tournament. Leroy informs Jin that Heihachi is using him like he is using everyone else. During their discussion, Heihachi shows up and tells Jin to be getting ready for his next fight, instead of wasting his time with a man like Leroy. He reminds Jin that the only way to avenge his mother's death, is to kill the Orge. Few moments later, the next fight is about to begin, as Jin is to fight with Huarong. When the fight finally started, Jin recalls what his mother told him about not taking pleasure in defeating someone. Suddenly, Jin strategically defeated Huarong, without a scratch on his body, and offers to buy him a drink, to maintain their friendship, but this only makes Heihachi furious, as Jin didn't defeat Huarong in a brutal way. Next episode begins, as we see Ling Xiaoyu fighting King. But King manages to defeat Ling by knocking her out. Ling Xiaoyu is badly wounded in fight, so Jin hurries to tend to her wounds until he confirms she's alright. Jin reveals to Ling Xiaoyu concerning his purpose of fighting in the tournament, which is to avenge his mother's death. 
The next fight is King, vs. Paul Phoenix. Heihachi informs Jin that King isn't who he seems to be, as he believes the real King was killed by the Orge back then. During the fight, we see Phoenix beating up King, but surprisingly, King unleashes a mysterious strength out of him, and uses it to defeat Phoenix in the fight. Later on, Heihachi get attacked by a girl called Michelle Chang. She wants to know what Heihachi did to her mother, and she was also requesting for her mother's pendant. Jin sees them fighting and is really confused. He stops the fight, and questions Heihachi on what is really going on. Heihachi tells Jin that she's an assassin. When Heihachi goes away, Jin tries to help Michelle up, but she notices that Jin is from the Mishima family. She tells Jin that her mother was trying to utilize the pendant power for good, but Heihachi stole it from them. She believes Heihachi has a secret intention on his own, which is using the pendant power to accomplish something evil. Jin tries to clear things out that Heihachi is only using the pendant to try and stop the orge, but Michelle replies that based on her mother's beliefs, Heihachi was really the one that brought the orge into the world. She also tells him that his story is so similar with a fighter called King. King's mother was also murdered by the ogre. So the reason King is fighting in the tournament, is because he needed the money to fund the orphanage. Few moments later, the next fight finally begins as Jin is to face King in the match. As soon as the fight begins, King gets the upper hand, but it didn't last long. As Jin decided to gather all his strength and immediately he landed a final punch, he is able to knock King out. Jin is proclaimed winner of the tournament. Showing mercy to his opponent, Jin informs King that he is handing over the price money to him, so he can use it to fund the orphanage as he planned. The furious Heihachi tells Jin that he must defeat one more fighter, in order to be declared the winner of the tournament. Shockingly, Jin must face Heihachi in his last match. Jin is so bothered, because he knows how strong Heihachi is. Heihachi is so angry with him for the kind of sympathy he normally shows his opponents, and tells Jin that it will not even take a minute for him to get defeated by the Orge. Jin questions Heihachi if he really released the ogre, but he just avoided the question. Jin angry started to blame Heihachi for all the innocent people, who was murdered by the ogre, including his mom. The fight we have all been waiting for finally started, as Jin is to face his grandfather, Heihachi, in a diabolical battle. As soon as the fight begins, Heihachi throws a very brutal blow at Jin, getting himself ready to kill his grandson. Heihachi beats Jin up in a very violent manner, throwing him against the walls. As Jin lies on the ground unconscious, he started to get memories of his mother who was teaching him how to fight. In no time, Jin gets back on his feet which shocks Heihachi. The fight continues, and Jin uses the Kazama skills his mother thought him and for the first time, he knocked Heihachi to the ground, and the pendant falls off him. Something strange started to occur, as the sky changes color, and a portal opens, revealing the ogre. The final episode begins as we see the ogre falling from the sky, roaring menacingly. Heihachi picks up the pendant, and we shockingly see a strange smile on his face, while Jin recalls what his mother went through because of this demon. Immediately, Jin runs towards the ogre to fight it, but all his attempts was just ineffective to the monster. The other fighters wants to assist Jin in the fight, but Heihachi tells them not to get involved. Jin is so confident this time around, unlike when he was little. The ogre smashes him around with no much efforts, and Jin continually started to get memories of his mother teaching him a fighting technique. He also recalls what Heihachi said to him that hesitation is a weakness. Jin started to combine two different techniques which is the Kazama, and the Mishima, and uses it to fight the demon. After a long fight, Jin manages to defeat the ogre. Jin angrily tells Heihachi that he ending all his relationships with him, and he is no longer getting himself involved in the tournament, because he blames Heihachi for all the innocent people who have died, especially his mother. But before he leaves the sky started to change color again and we see a powerful energy coming out from the ogre, which did not only make it bigger, but it also transformed it into a gigantic flying beast, which now becomes stronger than before. As the ogre grabs him, Ling couldn't leave him alone to die in the hands of the powerful creature, so she goes to the arena to assist him in the fight, while we see Heihachi just standing on the other side, smiling. The ogre defeated Ling and started to straggle her neck to death. Jin is desperate to save her, despite being exhausted from the fight. Jin manages to stand on his ground to challenge the ogre once again. With all the motivation and confidence he has, and with his combined, fighting techniques, he finally defeated the ogre after landing series of brutal attacks. A powerful energy comes out from the ogre, and goes into the sky, and the ogre is killed in the process. Jin wins the fight for good, while all the fighters congratulate Jin for defeating ogre. Heihachi tells Jin that he has finally avenged his mother's death, but he still has that same curse just like his father. 
Shockingly, Heihachi brings out a gun and releases a fire directly at Jin's chest. He says to all the fighters that he has just gotten rid of the most evil, and most dangerous person in the world, who might be a threat to humanity. As Heihachi talks, we can see Jin on the floor dying. Jin suddenly finds himself in the spirit world, and reunited with his mother again. He begs his mother for forgiveness and returned back to the living world. This time Jin is much more stronger, as he now has wings. He uses all the strength he has and goes towards Heihachi in speed, beating up his grandfather in a brutal way, as we see him spitting blood all around. Heihachi tempts Jin to kill him like a true Mishima would, but Jin suddenly hits Mishima one more time, taking the pendant from his chest, and flies away. And that was how the series ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.